Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn compressed trice. So in the previous video, we learned many things about trice. First of all, I explained that how tries are helpful when it comes to pattern matching. And then we saw what are tries. We also saw the structure of a node in case of a try. And then we learned how to perform different operations in try like search, insert and delete. We found out the time complexity for each of these operations. Then we, find, then we found out the space complexity in case of a try, which is also known as a standard try, right? So if you have not watched the previous video, I'll provide the link to that video in the side button. So at the end of the previous video, we calculated the space complexity of a try that was of the order of the total number of nodes in the try, right? And in the worst case we saw, when there are no overlapping words, like in this case, execute and run, there we saw that the total number of words can actually be equal to the total length of the text and the size of the text can be very large, right? So this space complexity that you can see over here, that is of the order of the total length of the text is actually a very large space complexity, right? So our aim is actually to reduce this space complexity and that is why in this video, we will learn compressed tries. So first of all, in this video, we will see that what are compressed tries and I'll also show an example. After that, I'll prove that how compressed tries reduce the space complexity drastically, right? So what are compressed tries? So you have already seen these tries, these are standard try and you can see that different nodes have different number of children, right? So when it comes to compressed try, a compressed try is also a standard try, but there is a condition. So a compressed try is also a standard try in which each and every node, each and every node is having at least two children, right? Each and every node should have at least two children. And uh, of course, each and every node except leaf nodes, right? This is, uh, this is understood that leaf nodes are having no children. So each and every node except leaf nodes should have at least two children. Here you can find there are many nodes which are having just one child, right? So this is not a compressed try because there are many internal nodes that are having only one child like this node, this node, this node, these nodes, right? They are having just one child. So let us see how we can make compressed tries. So here I have drawn a try, right? This is not a compressed try. Why? Because a compressed try is a try in which each and every node should have at least two children. But there are many nodes over here that are having just one child, right? For example, R, U, right? E, X, E, all these are having just one child. So this is not a compressed try. This is a standard try that I have made out of my text or my input, which contained these five words, right? So how do we make compressed tries out of these same words, right? This is a standard try, but we want a compressed try. So making a compressed try is very simple. What you need to do is that at any place where you find the property of compressed tries being violated. And what is that property? That every node should have at least two child, right? But here you can see this node has just one child. So the, in that case, what you need to do is that this is the parent and this is the child. So you need to collapse the child into the parent. What I mean is that this is U and this is N or you will concatenate the child U to the parent and you will make a single node that is UN, right? So you need to do that until and unless you reach a node which has at least two children, right? So in this case, this parent U and this child N will become UN, right? It will become UN. Why? Because you had just one child N and we are talking about compressed tries. Even here in the case of node R, you can see that it is having just one child that is UN. So again, do the same thing. Collapse the child in, into the parent. So this R will actually become R plus the child. So what is the child of R now? UN, not U, UN. Because the child of U was collapsed into U and now the child and now it has become UN, so this will be collapsed into R. So this entire thing will become RUN, right? So let us write it down over here. 
सो दिस विल बिकम आर यू एन राइट सो वॉट वी डिड अर्लियर देर वॉज दिस यू विथ जस्ट वन चाइल्ड सो वी मेड इट यू एन राइट एंड देन अगेन दिस यू एन हैड नो सिबलिंग और आर ओवर इयर हैड जस्ट वन चाइल्ड सो वी कोलैप्स दिस यू एन इन टू आर यू एन टू आर एंड वी फाइनली गॉट आर यू एन राइट so we got a single node and now you can see that the property as we go one level up to the root is not being violated because here root is having three children so now we don't have to collapse this node to the root node right so now let us do this wherever it is applicable here also you can see that t has just one child e so collapse this child into the parent right so here you will get t e right and this child will be deleted right you will you will be left with te but again you can see that u has just one child so you collapse this child with the parent and here you will get u plus the child te u te right so here you will have u te correct in the same way this collapsing will happen at each and every level and then finally can you guess what you will get execute right you will finally get execute because in this entire path each and every node has just one child so all of these children will get collapsed into the parent and finally you will get the complete word that is execute so i'll just write it down now let us see the rest of the nodes so here also you can see uh, e has just one child x so we will collapse x into e so we will get e x right and then we will collapse ex into l because l has just one child right so here we will get l plus ex lex right so i write lex over here okay now over here also you can see so here we will get le why because l has just one child e so in the same way here we will get ile but here we will not collapse ile to p or lex to p why because p has two children and the property of compressed try says that each and every node should have at least two children so it has two children so there is no problem so now in this case e will collapse to d right because d has just one child okay so this will become d e right okay now here m is not going to collapse to o why because o has two children d e and m but we are left with one thing here as you can see m has just one child so we will collapse this child p to m and make it mp so let me just make it mp and this mp is going to have the children of the child right because here we are actually not deleting p we are attaching the child p to the parent m so p's children will also be attached to m or what would become mp right so now let us see so this will be mp right here we will get mp and this mp will have two children right ile and lex now can we do any more collapsing here o's children will not be collapsed to o but here you can see c has just one child o so we can make it so we can make it co right and this co is going to have two children and these were earlier the children of o or the child right so this what you see over here is a compressed try right it is a compressed try because each and every node except the leaf nodes have at least two children this root has three children co has two children mp has two children and rest of them are leaf nodes right so this is a compressed try but now you will think that uh, we were actually uh, using compressed tries in order to reduce the space complexity that we are encountering because of standard tries right but here what has happened after the collapsing operation what we did right now was that some of the nodes are actually having labels with multiple characters earlier in each and every node there was just one character like c b a or d but here you can see that each node is having multiple characters like in the case of execute run and all these nodes are having more than one character so will this not increase the space complexity so to avoid increasing the space complexity we use range queries okay now i'll explain what are range queries so this was your input 
or the text or all those words that you inserted into the try. Then you made it a compressed try. Like this is a compressed try what we made out of a standard try. But here the size of the label is very large. So how can we make the size of each label constant? So what you can do is that rather than representing a node with an entire label of LEX over here, you can instead represent it with only three numbers. How? Let me show you. Here we have got LEX, right? This is LEX. And this is for the word C-O-M-P-L-E-X, complex. So instead of writing LEX in the node, we will write three numbers. The first number is going to be index of, of the word or that index where this word is appearing. So this word is appearing out of all these uh, index from 0 to 4 on the first index, right? Complex is appearing on the first index. So the first number will be 1, okay? Now what about the rest of the two numbers? So as you can see, this LEX is the substring of the word complex. In fact, each and every node over here is containing a substring of any of these words, right? So the second number will actually be the starting index of this substring, the starting index of LEX, and the third number is going to be the ending index of this substring. So here we will write 4 and 6 because the starting index of LEX is 4 and the end in index is 6. Right? 1, 4, 6. Okay, how we'll represent MP with the help of three numbers? So MP is, if you can see, it is coming in C-O-M-P-I-L-E and C-O-M-P-L-E-X. So it is coming in compile and com complex both. So it is coming in both these words. So in the first position we write the index of the word. So the index of the word, we can write any one index. Let's write one. And what is the starting index of the substring MP? It is two. Right? And the ending index is 3 for MP. So we write 1, 2, 3 in case of MP. Right? So now let us represent each and every node in this compressed try with using just three numbers. I'll just draw it over there. So here I have represented this same compressed try in this format. Right? With using just three numbers for each and every node. Okay, so let us just take an example. If I want to represent DE, so DE is actually in the word at index 0. Right? So the first number should be 0, right? And the second number should be the starting index of DE and the starting index is 2. And the third number should be the ending index. So the ending index is 3. So the first number should be 0, then 2, then 3. So for DE, 0, 2 and 3, right? So you can cross check all these numbers. So now the question arises that how do these compressed tries decrease the space complexity? Okay, so for that, let me show you something. So let's, uh, so let's see the statement over here. A tree in which every node has at least two children. Even in case of compressed tries, as you know, every node has at least two children, right? So in such a tree, it has at most L minus one internal nodes, right? At most L minus one internal nodes, where L is the number of leaves. You can prove this very easily using mathematical induction. But now let us see the relevance of this statement when it comes to determining the space complexity of compressed tries. So when you see a compressed try like this one what we saw earlier, what can you identify on the leaf nodes? All the leaf nodes. This is a leaf node, leaf node and this leaf node. If you look clearly at each and every leaf node, a word is ending, right? A particular word like execute is ending at this leaf node. And if you seek for compile, the word compile is ending at this leaf node with ILE, right? So can we say that the number of leaf nodes is actually equal to the total number of words? So we can say that the number of leaf nodes is actually equal to the total number of words, right? But there is a condition that if suppose we are having the word execute, right? We are having this word already in our try. We should not have the word exe or we should not have a word that is a prefix of another word in the try. So, so if this condition is valid, that none of the words are actually prefix of any other word in the try, then this equation will hold that the number of leaf nodes in the compressed try is actually equal to the total number of words in your text, right? 
and as you know the total number of nodes will be equal to the number of internal nodes plus number of leaf nodes right there are no other nodes in a tree and it is said that the number of internal nodes are at most l minus 1 let us consider a worst case that the number of internal nodes are actually l minus 1 when there are l number of leaves so we can say that approximately the number of leaves are equal to the number of internal nodes, right? We can say that the, there is just a difference of one if we consider a worst case. We can write it as total number of nodes upon two, right? Divided by two. Why? Because total number of nodes are number of internal nodes plus number of leaf nodes. And this is L minus one and number of leaf nodes are L, right? So this is around 2L or you can call it 2L minus one, which is around 2L, right? So here we can write uh, number of leaf nodes in this way. So this is equal to the total number of words, right? So finally, when we take this two over here, we can say that total number of nodes are actually equal to two into total number of words, okay? So now let us calculate the space complexity. So if you look at compressed tries, the, to the space complexity will be equal to the total number of nodes, right? Even in case of standard tries, the space complexity was equal to the total number of nodes. And in each node, it is not represented in this way, like this execute, as I told earlier, it is not represented in this way. It is represented using three numbers, like for example, three, four, nine, right? Suppose it is represented using these three numbers, okay? So the total space complexity will be equal to, because each node is represented using three numbers, so three into the total number of nodes, right? So if we talk about space complexity, it will be three into total number of nodes, right? And what is total number of nodes? We saw over here, total number of nodes is actually equal to two into total number of words. So we can write it in this way using this, right? So that is actually equal to six into total number of words, or we can write the space complexity as of the order of total number of words in the text, right? So the space complexity is actually of the order of total number of words in the text. So see how the space complexity has changed. So earlier, if you remember, in case of a standard try, the space complexity was order of total length of text, right? And now the space complexity has actually reduced to order of total number of words. So suppose you have got many words in your text like candle, copper, cardamom. So you have got many such words. So when the space complexity is order of total number of words because of compressed tries, it is much lesser. So if you have got 100 words, your, you can say your space complexity is 100, right? But each word on an average, if its length is suppose six, so your space complexity will be order of the length of the order of the total length of text. So the length of this text plus this text plus this text. And if we have considered the average of each word as six, so the total space complexity will come out as 600, right? Six into 100, because that is the total length of the text. So that is much greater as compared to the uh, order of total number of words. So that is why compressed tries are preferred over standard tries. So that is why compressed tries are preferred over standard tries because they reduce the space complexity from order of total length of the text if there are 100 words and each word on an average has six letters. In this case, your space complexity will be 600, right? Total length of text. Whereas if there are 100 words, so in this case, your space complexity will be 100. Right? Only the, it counts the total number of words. It doesn't matter how much is the length of each word. Right? So that is why compressed tries are preferred over standard tries because it provides a huge advantage when it comes to space complexity. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will see another important topic under tries and that is suffix trees. So if you like this video, please share it with all your friends. And please subscribe my channel because I'm going to upload many such videos in the upcoming days.